it's your girl Maddie and today guess what we doing <laughs> for some reason right now fidget toys are very popular I actually remember back back to my preteen days when for some reason fidget spinners were the fad I don't know why but they were <laughs> I probably have like three of them laying around somewhere. Now it's not just fidget spinners, it is fidget cubes and all kinds of different things that you can basically keep your hands busy. Right now it's really going around all the DIY fidget toys. I mean, I really think it's a great thing because you're technically recycling just about everything I've seen people use to make these fidget toys. I, I've done a bit of research and I have come to a conclusion that I can make about three or four of them. So we'll try to cram some into this video. Uh, and you guys are just gonna basically be watching me learn because I have literally never done any of these before. So, so let's just go ahead and dive into the video. We're just gonna start off with this uh, bottle cap. I just got this from one of those bottle, just a Kirkland bottles and uh, I cut the top off you'll see why I cut the top off in a little bit but for right now I just took the cap from this bottle and basically all I'm probably gonna need <laughs> and I'm just saying I've never done this before but it's looking like I'm gonna need this some play-doh and uh, a balloon and that's pretty much it if this works out I, you know who knows I may even end up liking it <laughs> so let, let's just see so in the video, it was looking like you just take some Play-Doh, enough to put in the cap and kind of almost look like you're making a mini pie. Not a whole lot though. Okay. Hopefully this will work. And then you just roll it into a little ball. Yeah, stick it on top here. Kind of flatten it down a little bit until it just, just about goes over the edges, but not quite. That's looking like how it goes. And then you take this and you cut basically the little stem off this thing. I think that's it. And then uh, somehow I fit this over. I'm gonna have to cut lower because there's no way I'm gonna fit it through this tiny little thing. My goodness. All right. Please work, please. You know what I should do? I should just roll it inside out no 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 all right if I get this this is just gonna be a good day I've made up my mind if, if if this makes it this is gonna be a good day I'll have a good ah. they ask you how you are you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine but you just can't get into it because they would never it's, it's time for war this balloon has declared war on me. We are gonna do whatever we can to get this thing in there. All right, will it go this time? Oh, it went, it went. Okay, so basically I'm supposed to tighten it down, right? So it makes this little dome shape, I guess, and traps the Play-Doh in there and then I don't know what I do with the excess down here. I guess I I need a rubber band to put around the edge here, probably. Forgot to get a rubber band. Let's let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. I don't have a rubber band. So, I mean, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this thing. I guess I'm just supposed to cut the excess. If my scissors will permit that to be so. I know I had some other scissors. I don't know what happened to them. Come on. I just want to finish my first fidget toy thing. Can you? <sighs> so this one's not, not very secure, most likely. It's just gonna end up popping off. But anyway, the whole point is for you to be able to mash this. Ooh. I mean, it's not bad. I actually quite like it. Look at 
look at that. It's not bad. I mean, if I if I didn't stink it, <laughs> if I didn't stink at making this, I'd say this is actually a a good fidget toy. But you know, this thing is just begging to fly off any moment, and it's not tight. I know it's supposed to be around here, but there is no way I was gonna get that. All right, moving on to one that should hopefully be easier. Stress ball. I feel like these are pretty just standard. Um, you fill these with some kind of squishable substance and then you get a squishy ball thing, right? Well, today we're gonna see how easy, how easy that is. So, now you're gonna figure out why I cut this off in the first place. We're gonna kind of use it as a funnel just to try to get everything in this ball. Now, there is no way I'm gonna be forcing it down this whole entire length, so this half of, part of this part of this anyway is gonna have to come off hopefully I'll have enough that I can still tie it off or something because there's no way there's no way I'm no come on please please work for me well it's on my thumb now I just got to get it on this bottle I can't <sighs> A few moments later. It's still gonna be a pain to try to get stuff down in here though, but we're gonna try, all right? I'm not giving up that easily. At least I'm gonna try not to. And we're gonna bring in this green substance stuff that um, is completely messy. I don't know, it's called bubber or something. We just had it literally laying around the house. It's, it's, it's dropping crusties everywhere. Okay, so it's, oh. Hopefully this will be a very good substance to be squishy if, if we can get it in this stupid thing. It's, oh, it's so messy. Come on, just, just flake in there for me. Just, oh, it's going. Maybe we can just force it in there. Ugh. This is a nightmare. This is nightmare fuel. I mean, it's kind of making it down in there, but I, this turned out better in my mind. I mean, really it did. Just, I mean, there's some stuff down in there. Well, I'm just gonna go ahead and keep getting this blasted stuff down in there. You know what we're just gonna stop this and um, I'm gonna start taping once I get all this blasted stuff in, in here so after about 10 minutes of blood sweat and tears I have managed to force a significant amount into this balloon. The trick is tying it without breaking my nails and my mental stability. We're just gonna try popping this thing off. I really, honest to goodness, don't know how I'm supposed to do that, but, oh, come on. Please. <gasps> I did it. It's, it's actually really nice and squishy. I like that. If I, can, if I can tie it, oh, this is gonna be a nightmare. I did it, guys! I did it! Yay! And now we, just, now we just basically cut the excess off. And we can celebrate. Oh. 
You know, I feel like I've accomplished some big feat, but I realized all I did was have it stuff this balloon and manage not to break my nails. So anyway, as far as this fidget, I mean, they were calling these fidgets. As far as this one is concerned, oh my word, I absolutely love this. I think it depends on what you put into these balloons, because you could you could get one balloon and you could put in all kinds of stuff, but this stuff is actually moldable, so it just feels so, it feels so good, <laughs> despite the green dust. I mean, this is actually probably, this one was worth my pain, so yeah, I would, I would highly suggest making one of these. If you have any other substance, like flour or rice or any other substance, you can do, you can really put anything in here. It doesn't have to be what I used because trust me you probably don't want to try it was a, it was a nightmare but I would recommend making one of these if you haven't the next fidget toy is called I believe it's called a, a pop puppet not a puppet Dim, dimple thing Dim, something dimple D I M P L E D yeah I, I don't know why they called it that but anyway that's what this thing is called. Basically, what you're gonna need two two circles that you cut out of some sort of paper. Um, my hands are still covered in bubber. I clean my hands, and this foreign substance is still on my hands. But whatever, we're just gonna keep filming on it because I can't I can't do this anymore. You're gonna need some cardboard, probably not this much, but but some. So we're gonna cut it down to size. the size I'm gonna heck I don't even know what I'm gonna do okay I'm gonna take I'm gonna take uh... y'all know what I'm gonna make a single one because usually there's two right I don't think I have time for two we're just gonna make one all right we're gonna take one and uh, basically just draw a big circle or shape or something. Even though it's not a perfect circle, hopefully it'll work. Now here's the dangerous part, all right? Basically what you're gonna do is trace your, your circle and then you're gonna cut out that circle. Very detailed instructions, I know, but I've never done this before. If you have any DIY fidgets, please just comment. Just comment some fidgets you've made or maybe bought, or if you're even into them at all, or if you even care about commenting. <laughs> Cut the middle out. This is so dangerous. <sighs> don't do this. Please don't do this at home. Oh. You know, I think I choose I choose life, so I'm just gonna use my scissors. And I'm gonna have to make another one because because well, I'm gonna have to. It's probably what it is. Now that we have um, a foreign shape, I want to give up on this so bad. <sighs> All right, we're cutting a bigger circle. Hopefully I'll be able to do this freehand because I ain't going to stencil it. It's too small! <laughs> Cut like the perimeter or whatever. And then you do this and then you just... Mm. Yeah, that's it. 
Then you tape it with something. I guess painter's tape, because that's all I have. <laughs> this is so bad. I have a new appreciation for the people who make these. Uh... All right, this is a nightmare. Okay. So you take whatever this is and then you put this on top of it and then you're supposed to glue this thing to itself but there's no way that's since it already looks like hot garbage maybe if we add some of this beautiful washi tape <laughs> who am I kidding it's still gonna look like trash let's just see if this will no it ain't gonna work all right we're gonna we're gonna do this we're just gonna we're gonna go all around it and um and pray for it because this is Alright, we are done and this looks like a deformed pool float of some sort. Now we're just gonna see the functionality of it. Because I really, I feel like um, this is not gonna work for me. <laughs> Alright, so we got our thing here. when we've got a problem or there's a situation going on, we start to try and figure out and solve the problem before we actually check what the real problem really is. All right. Zero for the, for the thing. Okay. <laughs> of the three that we attempted to make, my favorite would have to be this little squishy ball. Uh, it was a pain to stuff, but the end result was completely worth it, and I think this will probably last a long time. Definitely stress relieving. Very, just very, um, what's the word? Well, it's very fi fidgety. It's a good fidget toy thing. I like it. I like this. Um, this one, I mean, this one wasn't completely a waste of time. I just... I mean, I, I, I feel like I can make it better. So anyway, guys, that's all. That's all we have time for today. Thank you for tuning in. <laughs> Hopefully this gave you some insight that not everything turns out perfectly and not everything turns out right. Uh, there are dumpster fires in the craft and art world and it's just gonna happen, you know? So I appreciate you joining in. Hopefully this helped you in some way. <laughs> You have a beautiful day and I will see you in the next video.